Yes, legends, welcome back to the channel as always. Guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the price of Bitcoin. Obviously, massive moves from yesterday. Uh, guys, we're going to go through the sentiment analysis, guys. The long to short ratio has flipped. This is very, very significant for Bitcoin. And guys, I'm going to show you um, the next big investment I have made. I've actually invested in this pre-sale. All of you guys watching this can get into this pre-sale as well. I will show you the pre-sale later in the video. I'm actually making this one of my largest investments this year. And guys, let's dive straight into it, into the price charts now. And also, guys, we'll go through the indicators as well. I forgot to mention that the MDX indicators absolutely nailed this last long move, guys. Absolutely incredible, guys. The algorithms we've built um, literally cannot miss. So, guys, let's quickly recap. I said from this region here in my previous video, like most of you guys watched, I said that I do think Bitcoin is going to have a snap to the upside. My hunch right now, guys, on this price action is this. If this, pro if this support region here holds, which I do have a hunch it will, I think actually we could see a reclaim of $20,000, right? A rally back up, guys, to around this prior resistance here. Well, it, used to, it was resistance and act to the support SR level. It's a key SR. If we do come up, guys, and get break 20, I do think we could see actually a lower high scenario created after popping through 20. So I said in my previous video, guys, that in this liquidity pocket down here, I do think we're going to get over exacerbated longs. We got it. And actually, in hindsight, guys, we had significant bullish divergences playing out on the MDX oscillator three. If you actually zoom out a second onto this time frame here, the four hour, you will see that there is some significant, sorry, bullish divergences playing out when we got oversold down here, guys. Uh, that's another thing, another factor in my analysis I look at. The indicators absolutely nailed this, guys, on all time frames, even the hourly time frame here. Look at that. Lovely, lovely long call here. You can see from signal to take profit, guys, we're literally looking at around, what is that, 16%, guys, 15%. And our automated trading strategy, guys, our automated trading bot is now up like 9% from the entry. So really, really good stuff, guys. I literally predicted this on the last video. I thought we we're going to get some sort of pop, guys, to liquidate some of those offside positions. Exactly what we got, guys, we've come to the next prior resistance, the next key SR level. This is actually resistance multiple times. And before that, it was support. So now, guys, we're actually at resistance. Now, what's going to happen next? Let me explain to you what's going to happen next. It's two ways of looking at this, guys. If we actually posture up to this with some sort of bullish formation, maybe an ascending formation or, you know, some sort of flag formation, I do think that the next logical resistance will be up around here, guys, around $23,000, actually. I don't think Bitcoin will get above 23 on one move, guys. I do think we'll actually see some significant resistance if we actually get through this now with some sort of bullish posture. I'd say my hunch would probably lie just to be completely honest and just be like traditional with you we're at resistance it wouldn't surprise me to see bitcoin come back down to retest 20k get the higher low get the springboard off it and then actually have another attempt at this at the higher levels basically I would, this wouldn't surprise me at all we do have some bearish divergences playing out right now guys we have stochastic rsi bearish divergence on the hourly on the four hour i think we might have got something we actually overbought on the on the four hour as well but having having said that, you know, when I do look at the lower time frames, like this does look like some sort of S curve kind of S curve uh, continuation formation, which catches a lot of people off guard, especially now that the market is postured to the short side. We know that retail traders guys got licked. There is literally more shorts on Binance now than there are longs, which means that the fuel is to go up now. You know, if the market is all long, it's not going to go up. If the market's all short, it's very unlikely it's going to go down. So you can see here, guys, that now. The shorts are overtaking the longs on Binance, which does give me confidence that there is fuel, more fuel to go up. So I am, you know, in my specific strategy, I am still long. I am holding that long position from around here. Uh, I have put my stop loss just above break even, so I can't lose the trade. Sounds good to me. If we do come to 20K, guys, I will look to buy 20K again for a bounce trade, quite simply. And also, Legends, if we do come up to this in some sort of bullish posture, uh, maybe some sort of ascending formation actually would be probably better for that. I would look to hold on to that long and then take profit uh, at the next logical resistance will be $23,000 because I'll be taking profit from those longs uh, and probably leave on 25% of it just on the end, maybe the potential chance that this is the actual macro long-term bottom. But I don't think it's in just yet, guys, looking at the commitment of traders because we know that the Chicago Mercantile, the CME dealers are still massively exposed to shorts, which doesn't give me confidence in the medium to long term that Bitcoin is bottom just yet. Like I said before, guys, I you know I've said from a, a long no, before anyone is even talking about it. I thought Bitcoin was going to go like sideways, flat or down for about three to six months, guys. During this bear market, we lost we literally lost 35k. After that, I was saying three to six months of sideways. I still hold by that, guys, and I think this is just a good time to accumulate for those long term plays in terms of long term analysis. We're at seven on the CBBI, guys. So historically speaking, if you ever bought seven than pre in the previous bear market, you'd be very, very well off today if you bought seven on the CBBI. You can see the last time we got down to seven, guys, 
is the bottom of the previous bear market and the time before that was the bottom of the previous previous bear market so seven around here we are getting towards a bottom of a macro long term uh, bear market in going into a bull market so long term great time to buy medium term i'm not sold yet i don't think the bottom is in we could get it now or in three months time and on the short term guys i do have um you know i am actually kind of in the in the, the core of the bulls here i do think that if we do come down to 20k and hold it uh, I think it's a great opportunity to then buy, rebuy that region for another bounce, guys, potentially the spring up to 23. And I think this whole entire formation could come up like this, uh, make a lower high, and I don't think we're going to actually break the highs just yet, guys. I actually think it will be a lower high back down. Then we'll have to see if we make a higher low. And then, you, obviously, guys, the patterns will continue, continue, continue. Higher low. Uh, so we need to make a higher, uh, higher low. Then we have to make a higher high on the previous, and then we have to make a, a macro high higher as well to then swing round. That's what you're really looking for, guys, for the general... Uh, market structure to say okay potentially this could be the bottom not not sold just yet significant bullish divergence guys all of those things gone through and guys i want to talk about this uh pre-sale which i have just got i'm going hard guys in this and on this pre-sale it's actually one of the biggest investments i've made for a while but before we get into that guys i just want to show you um the mdx algo indicators guys you can get these for free legends literally for free on mdxalgo.com come and check out all these resources as well guys there's lots of stuff you can click on we also do have the mdx algo website sorry mdxcrypto.com website sorry mdxcrypto.com uh if you actually go on mdx algo and click learn uh, it will take you to the website and you can learn about different stuff like the best VPNs to use and articles, etc. We've we had a lot of people, um, <clears throat> so it, it's uh, in demand from you guys. You guys ask me questions like this all the time. So we basically just have a writer now who will answer these questions in an article form. So mdxcrypto.com, uh, you can get it from mdxalgo.com. You can get the indicators from there as well. And guys, if you want to trade these markets, uh, if you click on trade, you can actually see all of our partners um, with mdxalgo. Uh, these partners, you know, they will give you thousands of dollars, guys, when you when you sign up to their exchanges. They're all exchanges. Uh, even token metrics will give you 10% off when you sign up. And these are the best exchanges in crypto, guys. Just click trade and get the deals. They'll give you. They'll literally give you thousands of dollars. And even Bybit's doing zero uh, spot fees right now. So come to the portal, guys. Check it out now. What everyone's been waiting for. So this is going to be one of my, my, my largest investments, guys, in terms of an altcoin pre-sale. Okay, so I am I am heavily going into this one. And how you guys can get involved is on the... There's also, I'll put a link basically below to Palm Swap, guys. The link is in the description. Uh, and you can come here and you can actually view the details of this pre-sale. Pre the, the tokens haven't been launched yet. It's uh, going to happen in around 10 days. And this platform, guys, is a decentralized perpetual contract swap platform, guys. It's actually like trading on Bybit, for instance, but you connect with your MetaMask wallet. You literally click connect wallet, MetaMask or Brave. Brave browser has it as well. We, I actually use the Brave browser. That's why it's coming up. But guys, this is a, let's just be realistic here. Centralized exchanges aren't going to be around forever. There is a better solution, and that's a decentralized version where you can just connect your MetaMask wallet. There's no login, no KYC, no VPN. You connect with your MetaMask wallet, whether it's a Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, and you trade directly from your wallet, your funds to trade crypto. That is going to be the future, guys. Who knows which one's going to be the best? You got to, you got to take um, punts in this space, but I believe that palm swap and palm that's the palm token i do believe that this could be a real good contender to to win some of that space in the future guys we had dydx before now we've got these new ones up and coming faster quicker better matching engines less fees on better blockchains. so really exciting guys and if you want to participate as well i'm going to be going heavy on this you guys already know from the vip group i'm going heavy uh there is a link below guys to palm swap uh, use that link to get in and you'll get some you'll be at the, you have the chance guys to invest in this you need to log in with your metamask wallet on binance smart chain guys here we literally go we're bringing back we're bringing back we're bringing back guys the excitement of new exchanges we had the dydx before a few other perpetual swap contract decentralized pr uh, uh, platforms but i'm really excited about this space because it will be something i will use every freaking day guys because at the end of the day it's better to have less centralized points of failure guys you already know that um but guys check it all out guys all the links below and i'll see you on the flip side here we go bye bye